Aside from winning and losing, qualifying or not qualifying, what's the number one thing you're hoping to achieve personally and as a team this week? We all here for one goal to go back as champions. You say that very confidently. What makes you so confident? Well, the belief is in us. So, what happens out there? Well, it's a game of cricket. There's somebody who has to win, somebody has to lose. But what, what we feel within, we want to be champions when we go out there. I think everybody is hungry. That's one thing that I see uh, in everybody, and I can sense that the team is gearing to get onto the field and uh, prove it to everybody that we are here to play cricket. And uh, I see that with everybody. Yes, this is my debut, and uh, it's it's great to be wearing USA and get onto the field. And that itself is an inspiration and motivation for all of us to go out there and play for our country and make us feel proud first and then the country proud and I'm sure that's that's the mindset all of us are here for. Uh, we were aware of how the conditions are going to be over here and I think uh, nothing really changes for us. We're going to go out there and play our cricket. We, we want to maximize the number of days or the number of games that we get here. We are hoping to play all four games and uh, even if that means two a day or even we have to play on the rest days, we are ready for it. We want to go out there, get as much as possible, considering we haven't played for the five years. We are ready to go there. It looks pretty good. We haven't been able to uh, check out the centre wicket. The little bit of practice that we were able to get yesterday, the ball was coming on really well and I think uh, even I, th I feel like the ground is also, the ball's going to travel faster because of the what, because of what we could see yesterday. I think the facility seems to be good. We were able to meet a few uh, youngsters. They had a female out of a girls uh, festival yesterday. So we were able to meet some of the little girls come over here, watch us, and we were able to uh, sit with them for some time and uh, converse with them. So it seems to be they've been doing a pretty good job here. I think we first met in um, September, October last year in Philadelphia to play MCC and that's where I think uh, we were exposed to playing uh, any kind of competitive cricket for the first time in five years and I think that's where we felt that that's when we first had a fitness test done and that's where we knew this was the starting point and as we progressed in different camps that we had we saw that each one of us were, had improved from what we were in Philly last year to what we are today be it our fitness level the level of uh, uh, the number of games that we've played from Philly to now, the number of uh, uh, times that we've met together and bonded as a team, everything has only been positives from, from the time that we've met in Philly. And, uh, and also the games that we played in Essex, we felt we were very competitive. We won two out of the three games that we played against a good Essex side. And I think we are we're ready to take on some of the big teams here. I just think that Whatever we planned to get done in Essex, we were able to achieve everything that we planned for. The, we, if not for the games, we were able to get in some centre wicket uh, practice to get to know each other, to know the combinations of the team, of how we're going to play. So I think we're very much well prepared for the tournament. Uh, we knew this was one of the challenge, but I think as as a group and as a as a group as USA, we decided. We are going to do what is our strengths and we're going to bank on our strengths and play our cricket and mostly concentrate on what we can do as a team and uh, take, take the game as it comes. Yes, we don't have much information about Netherlands or Scotland, but uh, they don't have us either. So it's, it's square, it's square one for both of us. So I think it's going to be good to go out there and just play with our strengths and uh, figure out as it goes. Well, uh, my experience back home in India is probably the number of games that I've played is mostly the most among the players here. Uh, so handling pressure probably in different situations that I've been in, uh, I can draw inspiration from and try and pass it on to players how, how they can handle situations. Uh, that's, that's where I see the experience counts. And of course, um, playing big teams, England or Australia, which I've done in India, um, well, I keep telling players, see the ball, hit the ball, and that's what is ultimately the game of uh, cricket is just with the ball and a bat. You go out there, they have a ball, we have a bat, so you just go out there, hit the ball, put the ball in the right places. Basically, go back to basics. Uh, yes, I know I'm debuting as a captain, as leading the team, but I think uh, I was well prepared for this because I, I was informed that I would want, be one of 
that I would be considered. So in my mindset, I knew it, it would be offered to me sometime down the lane, if not this tournament or you know, the further. But I did get to know when we went to Trinidad and Tobago. So when we, we had a tour for four days, for just for team bonding and the pre-tour. So uh, that's where I got to know. And I, I don't think anything much changes for me, uh, personally, when it comes to my cricket. But otherwise, uh, I have been leading this team, or I've been leading the, the many club sides from the time I've moved to US. I know most of these players. I've played with them from the past four years. and. Uh, uh, I think I'm ready to lead the side.